Hello and welcome back to the Doctor's Garage here on YouTube. So in this video today, I'm fitting a brand new part to my Land Rover Defender 90, and that part is from Optimil. And it is to solve a problem that I've had ever since I've owned my Defender, something that if you guys have a Defender at home, you'll know is always an issue, and that is this. <laughs> So for those that own a Defender will know the screen wash on your Defender is pretty bad. It basically has two small jets in it and they cover kind of the middle third of the windscreen but nothing outside. You never really clean your windscreen properly. When it's summer like now or even when it's winter it's always a nightmare when you're trying to clean your windscreen. As good as your wiper blades may be you'll never really clean your windscreen very well. So I'm fitting a brand new part from Optimil and that is the washer jet kit and this is the front washer piece. So as you can see, it's full billet aluminium as all the Optimil gear is. It is honestly so, so well manufactured, the, uh, the Optimil gear in general. And this is the front washer. I also have the rear washer as well. In the box with the Optimil gear, this is what you get. And it's really, really nice to put together. Everything, including a brand new pump. You've got all the wiring, circuitry, relays, everything, new piping, and also instructions too. So if you're fitting this for the first time, you can use the instructions you have right here, which is from the Land Rover magazine, or you can watch this video and I'm gonna be fitting it right here. This guy who fits it on here, Martin, he is a professional. I'm certainly not that, so I'm gonna be fitting it the way I show you here on my driveway. One of my favorite parts about all the Optimal gear is it fits alongside what you've already got. So you don't have to modify and chop your fender, cut the wiring up, everything they provide in the kit, literally bolts side on to what you've already got, including in here as well, the full kind of wiring harness with the relay and everything. So you can literally put this on your Defender. You could take it off without damaging your Defender. So if you do swap your car, buy a new one, you could always just take it off and put it on the new one without any damage to existing car, which is a great feature from Optimil. And that exists for all of their parts. But what you're gonna to wanna to do is find where the washer tank is and get where all the cabling is, where all the pipes go to. And then in the TD5 and in the Puma, I believe, the tank is up in here through the lights. You can see the tank there. And we're looking at the one on the left, which is the front washer, and the one on the right is the rear. So these are the little, the little engines, and this is what we're going to be replacing, a new pump motor as well with this Optimal kit. So the red one is the one we want to look at. Now this line that goes through here, I'm going to trace where that goes. So you can see in my Defender, it comes under here, under the wing, and it goes in to the bulkhead just there. If you can see those little brown wires underneath all the electricity ones it goes in through there and i've started to take some of the dash off in here so as you can see you've got plenty of tools out and this is the dash on my td5 and when i look through here you can see where the pipe is which is this one just here it goes down round and it drops in through the bulkhead just down there right at the base really i'll take this cabling out so you can see it a bit better right at the base, so that's where it comes in. in here is putting together the new pump. So you can see these bit of aluminium parts, they go together around the pump like that. And then what you're doing is getting the new hose, putting it on the side, putting the electricity into here, the new plug, and you're replacing the pump. And so the pump originally sits, this is the original pump, the same size as this. We're using the holder to hold it there, and this much bigger pump sits on the outside, which is a lot more powerful than the old system. It is quite tight to get this bit onto the end of there. You need to lubricate it a little bit, then it all slides together like that. You've got this much larger hosing that you're gonna be doing, putting the large pipe there onto the little system we've just built. And you even get a little Jubilee clip as well to put over it. So this is a pump system fully built. You basically got this as a dummy pump, clips into the tank, that goes into the tank itself, and then the outlet is through this hose through the bulkhead and to the new washer jet. And that's essentially it. The difficulty is getting to it in the car. So I'm gonna be doing that now. So the pump itself, what we need to do now is pull it out of the tank essentially. So it is good to have a bucket underneath the car when you do this, just to catch any of the washer fluid that will run out. So we'll start by taking the electricity connection out. This is a red lead here that you wanna pull out. So that is now taken out. And as you can see, the pump is ready to be pulled out now. So this is the old pump. As you can see, there's a massive difference between what that looks like and our new, much more powerful, optimal pump. And that's why you have the dummy bit to go in because that's the same size as the original. This much more powerful one is, sits outside of that. Optimal also provides you with a new wiring harness. So what you've got is you've got the new connection to go into your new pump, the plug for the old pump connection. Then along this wire, you've got a relay with an earth that you just need to mount somewhere on the inside of that wing. And then right at the end of this, you have a power lead that you'll feed into the seat box to the battery. So that's the wiring harness that you need to insert into that area as well. So we've got the pump in place, got the piping fed into the Defender's engine bay. And what's important to remember is on the end of this nozzle here, 
You need to remember the rubber grommet just so it can stay stuck in the tank. Okay, so that is the new pump installed into the tank. The old pump here, and the beauty of this whole thing I'm doing today is you can leave all this where it is. I might just zip tie this to the inside somewhere on the front of the wing, just in case I ever want to put it back to normal. But this is what uh, what it looks like when it's fitted. I'm gonna put the wiring harness in now. Gotta find a place for this relay and earth wire, and then we're gonna feed this through the defender. We've got electricity wires all put through, the new wiring loom. This is the relay, and this is the earth. I'm gonna use one of these little brackets just on here to the main body of the car just to earth it and to mount the relay, probably actually that one just there, because it fits quite nicely with the rest of things. Then this is a positive lead, and then we've got the pipe that needs to go through the bulkhead. And the great thing is you don't need to go through the same points you've got for your old washer jet. You can leave all that piping in and put this new one through a different hole in the bulkhead. And so you leave everything as it is. And that's one of my favorite parts about this modification. I'm not having to chop up my fender like usual. That is the relay and the earth put onto that bracket just there. And now we've got the positive lead we put into the seat box and now we need to find a way for this to go inside the car. The new pipe through the bulkhead you've got to open up another rubber grommet. I've gone through just there on the bulkhead and the inside this is what that looks like it's coming through the bulkhead and then I've got a little connector to put that into the old pipe connection and then I guess we're almost sorted. I didn't really want to have to do this but I've had to take the dash off just to be able to get up into where I need to get to to be able to get that washer hose or get access to it at least. So just in here as well, I've found an original Land Rover National Lottery scratch card. What do I have to do? Find a clover, win double the prize. I don't think. Unfortunately, there's no winners on this, so that's a bit sad. I thought I might have won something with that. So now, if you can see that, I can get up into there to that nut which is where the washer is connected to. Step is to get that nut out, and to do that, you need a 13 millimeter socket on like a long arm, just so you can get to it. This is a piece that comes out. This is obviously through the bulkhead. This is the back, and you've got that 13 mil nut on there. I've now put the new washer nose on there. And so inside what we need is this little connection, and I believe that's all we need to plug it in. The thing I forgot to mention, you also need to put a little gasket in between there. This is the rear one. So there's one on the front there that I've put in, but remember to put that in before you fit it. This is that side of the pipe, then that just turns and goes into that nozzle just there. The difference between this, the Land Rover factory one, and the Optima one is just massive. And actually with the Optima one now, it matches everything else I've got on my truck from Optima. One of my favorite parts manufacturers for Defenders. I love their stuff, such high quality. And this is just no exception with this. Now, let me show you how it works with the water jet. So much better than before. Covers the whole windscreen right to the edges as well. That last video, some of these jets on the left side wasn't working. Just taking the front off. And this is also one of the cool design features and you can see how this works. But you can see little bits of paper, I think, probably from my tank just being a bit dirty and they've now gone. So this is how powerful this jet is. Now I've taken that front cap off just to clean some of those jets. Pretty strong compared to the old system. So thanks for watching this video on how to fit the Optimil front washer sprayer. I'm going to put this link of the product below in the description below if you want to buy it yourself. It took me about three hours to fit, but as you can see, I'm really pleased with how good that is for cleaning my windscreen. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.